Hi guys. Jay, um, I'm running out of time and I don't have time to explain everything. So listen carefully. Okay, first of all, I've received many emails from guys asking me on how I'm loading the YouTube videos on my Flash application. And, uh, well, let me tell you my secret is, what my secret is. I'm not gonna take the whole credit for that application because it's Abdul Kapiz from India is the one who made the script that returns the full path of the FLV when you just run it against the URL of YouTube videos. Well, you know, the basic idea of running, yeah videos in your applications having the full path of the FLV itself and while in YouTube you don't have that create some sort of a temporary session link whatsoever anyway I've has figured out how to do that and it's really neat and I love it okay this is you can you can check it out on his blog abdulkapiz.com you can check out his other Flash AS scripts about YouTube as well. I think I haven't had a look and have time. Anyway, the next thing is you need to get a developer ID. Where what is a developer ID is when you work with YouTube mashups you'll need that because see here for example your dev ID. How you get it is when you apply and create developer profile it they will give it to you. I think you should have a Gmail account. I can't remember. Anyway. Now let's see. Uh, YouTube itself got an introduction which is this one. You should see the results following. Uh, most or all of the returned values are in XML file. So uh, you should know how to structure XML within your Flash and how to read it, put it in an array, or do whatever you want with it. I prefer to put it in an array because then I can do whatever I want with the data inside of that. And here you got the API documentation. You see, you can see the API functions. We got user get profile, favorite videos, list friends, blah 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 blah. That's over. All right, so let's have a look on on one rest method of YouTube API. As you can see here, YouTube dot video less featured, and that's my dev ID. Pretend you haven't seen that. And what it returns, it returns an XML file, structured XML file, that you can load up in Flash or any, uh, I don't know, any application you're working on. Now let's have a look. Well, first of all, this is up to copies or nope. This is Abdul Kupi's script, and it returns this strings or variables. Uh, I'm gonna read back in Flash. The first variable is the path. The next variable is the t, and the FLV is already I kept it in Flash. So I just added a static YouTube blank. Let's have a look on this. So we compare it with the loaded one. We're gonna load. Oopsie. Okay. Now back. Flash. Okay, and and flash I have. Uh, a video component, video playback component, which is in the middle of my project. And I called it my vid. In the actions panel, 
I created a load vars that loads YouTube test to the PHP, which is Abdulkapi's script. Notice on load, it reads my var to path, which is this one. I will be until here, and adds another string, the T, which is this, and concatenated the FLB. So let's run it and see if it really works. There you go. Just the same video that confirms that it works all right so this was really quick um, on the application you saw earlier on zanals.com import YouTube videos um, I don't have enough time to explain the whole thing but I'll just go through it quickly. Uh, right, so I just click this one and it plays it. First of all, I have a test of PHP which reads the data URL, YouTube method, videos, list, featured, developer ID, read file. This is the way you read uh, data URLs or whatever you call them. Anyway, this will produce the XML file. And here, this is the one you saw on xanals.com. I created two my vars. I also have an XML file loading an XML, XML loader, XML data, and new XML. I will load the test of PHP, load thumbs function. Well, that if you know action script, then you should know what that is. Anyway, uh, I arrange the data into arrays: order, caption, description, rating, thumbs, link, and. I min I uh, added a minimum total of six, I think, or five files. And then once it's finished uh, adding the array uh, data, then there is a function called hope, which is actually a set interval of load thumbs function, which uh, duplicates. This button over here. Uh, well, as I told you, you should know action script. And um, this is just another subject on how to load XML. I'm not gonna go through it all because I have no time. But I might be able to do it in the coming future. Well, hope you got the idea on how to load the YouTube videos and sorry if I'm I went through that really quick can always post up the uh, a demo file so you can download Just tell me what you need righty good luck